this video, I'm going to show you how we can take use of the RAD Editor web part in SharePoint 2010. So here we see that I have a sample website in SharePoint. Now in order to add a web part to this, let's first go ahead and look at my pages here. And here we see that I have my page collection. And I can now go ahead and go into this document right here, which is actually of the type of a web part. And I've just gone ahead and pre-named it Rad Web Part. Now when this page is loaded, I'm just going to hit Edit Page. And actually, I've got cheated a little bit here. I've already added one, but let me go ahead and delete that. Yes. So let me go ahead and click on Add Web Part. Now we can see here that in the Categories view, if I go to Miscellaneous, you can actually find the Telerik Rad Editor for, Sh for SharePoint. And if I go ahead and click Add, I now can go in and edit this web part as well if I'd like to. We can see here that when I click within the editor, and these are just the default settings, I see that the tool bars actually follow when I scroll. And I can go ahead and actually, in the settings here, go into advance, into the layout, into the appearance, and basically edit my web part. And that's how you get started with the Rad Editor web part for SharePoint 2010.